Hey there, Pasta Padre here, and welcome to the Hit the Pass Film Room. Before the pilot episode begins, I just wanted to explain the concept behind the film room. These videos will feature video game footage from a variety of sports games, with contributors from Hit the Pass providing analysis. This is less about tips and more about the thinking that goes on during the games, which in turn can make you a better player, or at least consider different ways to approach specific situations you may find yourself in when playing the games. We'll be breaking down what was going through the mind of the player at the time, what worked, what didn't, and what decisions may have been preferable and changed the outcome. We hope you enjoy the first episode of The Film Room. TJ Lowerman, a.k.a. That Sports Gamer, joins me to discuss two innings from recent MOB 15 The Show games in the playoff series against Rich Grisham within our online franchise. All right, here with TJ. This is from Game 1 in the series with Rich. I'm at the plate here for this inning. Uh, Cano looking to get on. TJ's going to critique and ask yeah. questions about yeah, what? You're, you're already down 3 nothing. So yeah, what I am, are you trying to do here? I am trying to get back in the game, and I got the guys coming up I wanted, you know, Cano and Cruz and, and Matt Kemp, who I'd been tra- uh, traded for earlier in the season. And I think we use good rosters, so Cano's probably still good against yeah. left-handed pitchers. He's a 96-rated player, and this, this play really irritated me because it went right off the pitcher. I hit it square up the middle, and he still beat out the... Uh, yeah, it almost looked like he was safe. I'm surprised yeah, it didn't give you did. the uh, challengeability there. Yeah, that was unfortunate. So I was irritated at that point, but here I start to get things together. So I'd notice Rich likes to start Cruz off outside. Um, so I'm expecting pitches to the outside here. And got a couple already. Yeah, he's just nibbling here. Mm-hmm. And, you know, up three, not a terrible idea. Yeah, and so I'm now 3-0. and oh, I'm looking for a fastball probably on the inner half of the plate, something I can drive here. Uh, he doesn't give it to me. He goes outside again, and I swing and miss. Uh, yeah. but I'm still surprised ball three was a, a ball. Yeah, that was up and in. as was really a borderline call. Um, so now we're here at three and two. I'm just looking to square up on something. Yeah, good job fouling off these pitches. Those are, those are good there, pitches. There we go. Uh, that was another pitch on the outside half of the plate, and I took it the other way. Way to go with it, because a lot of people try to pull that pitch mm-hmm. and either strike out or just pop out to like the shortstop very weakly now first pitch here he gives me exactly what i wanted which was inner half of the plate and i was ready for it yeah Turn. and that bad pitch on Rich's part that's a definitely bad. should have went definitely should have went off speed especially with a slow you're trying to get a ground ball there throwing a low fastball like that's just gonna get mashed yeah on a first pitch too he hadn't given me many good first pitches to hit uh but but that one I was actually looking for, and I was able to turn on it and make him pay. So I'm back in this game now, 3-2. to two. Now he's scared, going back outside all the time now. He is, and I start to think he's rattled. Uh, and I've got Ricky Weeks at the plate, who is uh, is good against lefties. Um, not so good against righties. Yeah, that was a good slider. You should have taken a cut at that. But... Yeah, I was waiting to see if he was going to throw another ball. I thought he might be rattled enough that he'd miss so we got 2-2 now I'm just trying to make contact and uh, get a piece of it but not very well and you're using uh, directional hitting? yeah directional hitting so that's one of the key things you'll see me occasionally pull inside or push outside because I'm looking for a certain pitch here I am with Zanino first pitch I'm looking for something on the inside so I'm going to hold off on anything he throws on the outer half of the plate now by default when you when it's not when you're not going inside outside are you looking up or down or I generally, um, in a situation where, you know, a 2-2 two, two count, a 3-2 count, I'm probably just, I'm not going to push any direction. Not a bad idea. And in a hitter's count, I'm going to look for something very specific in a certain area. And see like there, I, I got one right right up the middle. Uh, so another good hit there. But yeah, directional hitting, that's what makes it, um, you know, that that's, helps me. Because I'm going to look for a certain pitch, and it makes it easier to lay off pitches in, in, in other spots. Uh, I, first, like, I like looking away with Logan Morrison. Lefty, lefty. Lefties, yeah, I, I tend to do that too, because you feel like you got a little... If you're going to hit something away, you got a little more time to adjust to it. Yeah, and I, I would definitely pitch Logan Morrison the same way, Rich, just, just like low and away sliders. Yeah. So now 0-2, I'm probably just using a contact swing. 
as opposed to a normal swing, certainly not a power swing here. Uh, so anything near the zone, I'm going to take a hack at and hope I and see. Uh, yeah, I was not expecting that uh, slider right in there. So, so that's just one inning of offense there. We're going to switch now to game three in our series. I am leading four to one in the bottom of the ninth. Taiwan Walker has gone eight strong innings. I decided to leave him in, even though he's uh, getting tired. This is not a bad call. Mm -hmm. But who do you have warming up in the bullpen right now? So I've got Rodney, I believe, ready to go if Taiwan Walker struggles at all. Only Rodney. At this point, only. <laughs> at this point, only Rodney. He is still my closer, and in the game, he's done well for me over the course of the season. Now, my only suggestion here would have been to have uh, Furbush going, because. Yeah. The uh, Royals have a lot of lefties that can do some damage. Mm -hmm. And uh, who do they have? Hosmer and Moustakis and Alex yeah. Gordon. So Walker's been doing a really good job uh, throughout the game getting ahead in the count. And, and it's leading to a lot of strikeouts. I believe he had 11 strikeouts at this point. Because uh, get ahead in the count, and then Rich would go fishing for balls out of the zone. And this time... I didn't get it out of the zone. Yeah. So Rich is able to get on base here. And with the Royals, he can pretty much steal at will, and I know it at this point. But at least I've got a three-run lead. And now I go to Rodney at 105 pitches for Walker. Yeah, I like you not messing around there. Yeah. Once the guy got on base, just, yeah. that was the plan. just get him out. That was the plan. I was going to let him go until something, uh, until somebody got on base. So uh, now I got... Rodney, who I, I love throwing the circle change, but that allows those guys to sit sit back and make some good contact. So that's a little bit of a concern for me here. Yeah. If it was me with uh, Walker at, what, 97 pitches starting the inning? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, that's a tough one. You got to go with, go with your gut there. Uh, I probably would have gone with Furbush or they have another lefty. I've got a few in the, the pen. I've got, he's the only really relief, uh, middle or late reliever. I've got uh, Elias in there as a mm -hmm. long reliever guy. Uh, and I could have gone to Jay Happ also, who I've got in the Jay bullpen Happ, for yeah. the playoffs. Uh, yeah, Furbush was, would have been the only player there. I probably wouldn't have gone to the other guys. Yeah, so I, I stick with Rodney here. I love Furbush, though. I mean, he's been, he's been great for me. I, I like his... Uh, uh, don't make a joke there, TJ. Uh, I like I like his release. I like his the way his slider moves, especially. Yeah. Uh, but now I'm in a situation here. I'm not worried about the runner on base. I know Rich is probably going to try to steal third because he'll get it automatically. Really, not much you can do against runners who have any sort of speed. But that was a low. I think that was a low change. And uh, you know, I was lucky. I threw it at home here. Um, I probably he should. Still, he's still down three. Yeah. I mean. It's good he didn't send the runner. I might have thought about it, but... I should have tried to keep the guy... I should have probably gone to second there to make sure the guy on first didn't go. Uh, yeah, or at least you hit the cutoff. Yeah. So now now things are getting nerve... You know, the nerves are going because I got Rodney out there and Dead. tying run is at the plate. Now I would probably t be terrified in the front and first bush. Yeah. <laughs> Just because... I probably would have lost my mind with Rodney by so, now. I believe I got Furbush warming up at this point. Yeah, and another one. I mean, he's just making good contact. It's not you know, killing yeah, anything. I'm not leaving anything over the plate. Yeah, it's just dribblers back up the middle, which is always the bane of my existence in this game. And there's still two outs, and I think at this point... No, Rich must be doing something. Um, at this point, I'm thinking about Furbush because I do not want to lose the game on Rodney. <laughs> if I lose the game with somebody else, okay. But that's my season. Uh, There's an elimination game. So I'm, I'm definitely feeling it, and here we go. I'm, uh, oh, you don't Bush have wasn't even warm, so I'm going to get him going. Now I, yeah, yeah. I, I probably would have brought him in to start the inning, the more I think about it now. But. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm going to try to get ahead on the count again. Um, yeah, you like to start guys off at circle change, huh? Uh, with Rodney, yeah. I mean, I... Maybe I just pitched different. I mean, we obviously just pitched differently. I'd probably go fastballs and try to get them out with the changeup, mm -hmm. like speed up their bats and then slow yeah, them down. You want, to, you want to set them up that way. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a mound visit here to get Furbush warmer. Uh, what was that like five at bat? Five bat or something? And Rodney's already tired. 
Yeah, he got tired quick. I'd, I'd had to use him in game two also. I think oh. that's part of the reason. He didn't come in fresh. So Furbush also coming in without full energy. And we found out what? Like it's, everybody needs five days of rest or at least <laughs> the starters? Yeah, it seems like in the playoffs the starters need more time. i I got to go uh, with Felix in game four, um, and he's only about 75% on three days rest. So um, I'm not sure what it would be if I waited another day. But, yeah, so here uh, we got... Base is loaded now, so Rich has got the tying man on second. Two outs still. So Furbush, I'm probably going slider here. Yeah, I'm going to start him off with a slider. Who's got up in front? In... Who's up for him? Did he just bring a pinch sure, hitter? I think he brought in a pinch hitter. So so now i am uh, got him 0-2. So again, I'm in a situation where I'm going to try to get him to go after something out of the zone. Mm-hmm. That one just got away from me a bit. Yeah, but you never know. You get get people to chase. To ch uh, get people to chase. Another uh, inside slider here. If I miss, it's at least going to miss in a cold zone. And he bobbles it. That scared the hell out of me. But he nails him at first, and I hold on to win and send this to game four. So that was a fun game. A uh, lot of strategy involved throughout. I had to keep his guys off the bases. Uh, I had to do everything I could. To, to prevent him getting on the bases and stealing. Uh, the, and the only way I could do that, striking him out and uh, me scoring some runs. So that's uh, a run through there, uh, an intense inning. So thank you, TJ, for, for talking with me through it. And uh, we will be back with more of the film room with different games, different situations, just trying to, to analyze what we're all thinking in a given situation and, and hopefully help you out when you face those same situations in your game. So thank you from Hit the Pass, TJ Lowerman, That Sports Gamer, and myself, Pasta Padre. Take care. We'll be back soon.